Good afternoon. Welcome to another typical day at Valencia College. We're delighted to have all of you here. Many of you are Valencia people and many of you are guests, some for the first time. It's hard to find someone in uh, Central Florida who doesn't have a family member who's been touched by this college in some way. But if we haven't touched your family yet, we look forward to being a part of your family and serving you. Uh, please let me know at the conclusion of today if we can do that in any way. It's a very special day. I see a lot of special friends in the audience here. Uh, and I want to thank you for making time to be here. Sam, it's good to see you. Barbara, it's great to see you. Chester, uh, I know there are others coming. It's, uh, it's absolutely fitting that this be the site for our president's visit. America's community colleges have often been called democracy's colleges because this is where opportunity begins for most people now in America. Without an education, opportunity is pretty tightly curtailed. And the majority of Americans, and by far the majority of Floridians, begin their higher education journey at a community college. And Valencia, the winner of the inaugural Aspirin Prize for Excellence in Education, is proud to represent our movement of over 1,100 colleges in America, where the middle class begins, where America begins, where everyone finds the power to uh, become all they can be and find broken field running for their families, both economically and socially. So we think this is a great time and a great place to do this. And it's especially important that this president be seen here because he's been a champion for community colleges and all that we represent from the beginning, having called the very first White House summit on community colleges. The first time a president directly involved himself in our business since Harry Truman's commission uh, uh, recommended the creation of community colleges in 1949. It's a great time, a great place. We're delighted you're here. And I assume that the uh, Washington winter weather and sunny Orlando had nothing to do with the selection of this site. We hope that you'll enjoy our hospitality and that this will be a memorable day for all of you, all you students and staff and faculty, all you guests from the community a memorable day that you'll, you'll uh, use as a touchstone for the rest of your life here in higher education and beyond. I'm especially delighted uh, to bring a student to you. Uh, her name is Katya Ibinez. Katya is, a, in many ways, a typical community college student. She uh, immigrated from Colombia uh, to the United States at age four. After graduating high school at age 18, she then uh, went on and entered the American Armed Services. She was a, an, an airborne ranger with the 82nd Airborne. She made more than 30 jumps. Her equipment weighed more than she. She married uh, at age 21 to a serviceman. They were both uh, had honorable service. She did uh, two tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, he uh, was discharged a year or two ago and uh, worked as a private contractor also in the East and has just two weeks ago returned and so their families reunited. Both are pursuing further education headed towards engineering degrees, both beginning their educations at Valencia. And she's here today, an, an honorable veteran of the American services to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Katya. If the audience would please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To offer an invocation, please welcome Valencia College West Campus President, Dr. Felicia Williams. Let us pray. Most gracious and eternal God, we gather today with exceeding gratitude for the many blessings you have bestowed upon our great nation 
and this wonderful institution. We are grateful for your sovereignty and wisdom, which inspired our founders to create this country as one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. We are grateful that you have brought to these shores people of many diverse backgrounds, ethnic, religious, language, and you have fashioned us yet to be one nation, we've woven together from many traditions. We remember before you the members of our armed services. We commend each of them to your care. Give them courage to carry out their duties, to face the perils that beset them, and grant them a sense of presence in all that they do. Today, we are especially grateful for our President, Barack Obama, the numerous elected officials who have marked and affected the journey of this nation. We pray you will shower these officials with your life-giving spirit, fill them with love, truth, respect, honor, that they may serve you and this nation and our local communities, and that they will be glad to do your will. Endow our hearts and our spirits with wisdom, that they may lead us in renewing the ties of mutual respect that form our civic life. Sustain President Shugart and the students and faculty and staff of this great institution as we exercise privileges and responsibilities of learning, of citizenship, that we may all work together to eliminate poverty, prejudice, so that peace may prevail. Strengthen our resolve as a nation. Bless us so that our beloved community and our neighbors will all more closely come together to fulfill the promise of one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In your most holy name we pray, amen. amen. To lead us in the singing of our national anthem, please rise and welcome the Valencia Vocal Quartet. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still 